In astronomy, an irregular moon, irregular satellite or irregular natural satellite is a natural satellite following a distant, inclined, and often eccentric and retrograde orbit. They have been captured by their parent planet, unlike regular satellites, which formed in orbit around them. As of July 2018, 125 irregular moons are known, orbiting all four of the outer planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The largest of each planet are Himalaya of Jupiter, Phoebe of Saturn, Sycorax of Uranus, and Triton of Neptune. It is currently thought that the irregular satellites were captured from heliocentric orbits near their current locations, shortly after the formation of their parent planet. An alternative theory, that they originated further out in the Kuiper belt, is not supported by current observations. Topic. Definition There is no widely accepted precise definition of an irregular satellite. Informally, satellites are considered irregular if they are far enough from the planet that the precession of their orbital plane is primarily controlled by the Sun. In practice, the satellite's semi-major axis is compared with the radius of the planet's hill sphere that is, the sphere of its gravitational influence r h Irregular satellites have semi-major axes greater than 0.05 r h with a poapsis extending as far as to 0.65 r h The radius of the Hill sphere is given in the adjacent table. Earth's moon seems to be an exception, it is not usually listed as an irregular satellite even though its precession is primarily controlled by the Sun and its semi-major axis is greater than 0.05 of the radius of Earth's hill sphere. Orbits Current distribution The orbits of the known irregular satellites are extremely diverse, but there are certain patterns. Retrograde orbits are far more common than prograde orbits. No satellites are known with orbital inclinations higher than 55 degrees or smaller than 130 degrees for retrograde satellites. In addition, some groupings can be identified, in which one large satellite shares a similar orbit with a few smaller ones. Given their distance from the planet, the orbits of the outer satellites are highly perturbed by the Sun and their orbital elements change widely over short intervals. The semi-major axis of Pasiphae, for example, changes as much as 1.5 gigameters in two years single orbit, the inclination around 10 degrees, and the eccentricity as much as 0.4 in 24 years twice Jupiter's orbit period. Consequently, mean orbital elements averaged over time are used to identify the groupings rather than osculating elements at the given date. Similarly, the proper orbital elements are used to determine the families of asteroids. Topic: <inaudible> Origin. Irregular satellites have been captured from heliocentric orbits. Indeed, it appears that the irregular moons of the giant planets, the Jovian and Neptunian Trojans, and Gray Kuiper belt objects have a similar origin. For this to occur, at least one of three things needs to have happened. Energy dissipation, e.g. in interaction with the primordial gas cloud. A substantial 40% extension of the planet's hill sphere in a brief period of time, thousands of years. A transfer of energy in a three-body interaction. This could involve a collision or close encounter of an incoming body and a satellite, resulting in the incoming body losing energy and being captured. A close encounter between an incoming binary object and the planet or possibly an existing moon, resulting in one component of the binary being captured. Such a route has been suggested as most likely for Triton. After the capture, some of the satellites could break up leading to groupings of smaller moons following similar orbits. Resonances could further modify the orbits making these groupings less recognizable. Long-term stability The current orbits of the irregular moons are stable, in spite of substantial perturbations near the apocenter. The cause of this stability in a number of irregulars is the fact that they orbit with a secular or cosi resonance. In addition, simulations indicate the following conclusions. 
Orbits with inclinations between 50 degrees and 130 degrees are very unstable, their eccentricity increases quickly resulting in the satellite being lost. Retrograde orbits are more stable than prograde stable retrograde orbits can be found further from the planet increasing eccentricity results in smaller paracenters and large apocenters. The satellites enter the zone of the regular larger moons and are lost or ejected via collision and close encounters. Alternatively, the increasing perturbations by the Sun at the growing apocenters push them beyond the Hill sphere. Retrograde satellites can be found further from the planet than prograde ones. Detailed numerical integrations have shown this asymmetry. The limits are a complicated function of the inclination and eccentricity, but in general, prograde orbits with semi-major axes up to 0.47 rh hill sphere radius can be stable, whereas for retrograde orbits stability can extend out to 0.67 rh. The boundary for the semi-major axis is surprisingly sharp for the prograde satellites. A satellite on a prograde, circular orbit inclination equals zero degrees placed at 0.5 rh would leave Jupiter in as little as 40 years. The effect can be explained by so-called evection resonance. The apocenter of the satellite, where the planet's grip on the Moon is at its weakest, gets locked in resonance with the position of the Sun. The effects of the perturbation accumulate at each passage pushing the satellite even further outwards. The asymmetry between the prograde and retrograde satellites can be explained very intuitively by the Coriolis acceleration in the frame rotating with the planet. For the prograde satellites the acceleration points outward and for the retrograde it points inward, stabilizing the satellite. Topic: <laughs> Temporary captures. The capture of an asteroid from a heliocentric orbit isn't always permanent. According to simulations, temporary satellites should be a common phenomenon. The only observed example is 2006 RH-120, which was a temporary satellite of Earth for nine months in 2006 and 2007. <laughs> Physical characteristics <laughs> Size. Given their greater distance from Earth, the known irregular satellites of Uranus and Neptune are larger than those of Jupiter and Saturn, smaller ones probably exist but have not yet been observed. However, with this observational bias in mind, the size distribution is similar for all four giant planets. Typically, the relation expressing the number n of objects of the diameter smaller or equal to d Display style d is approximated by a power law d n d d d minus q display style frac d n d d sim d caret q with q defining the slope, a shallow power law q approximately 2 is observed for sizes 10 to 100 km but steeper q approximately 3.5 for objects smaller than 10 km. For comparison, the distribution of Kuiper belt objects is much steeper q approximately 4, i.e. for one object of 1,000 km there are 1,000 objects with a diameter of 100 km. The size distribution provides insights into the possible origin capture, collision, breakup or accretion For every object of 100 km, 10 objects of 10 km can be found, for one object of 10 km, some 140 objects of 1 km can be found. Topic. Colors The colors of irregular satellites can be studied via color indices, simple measures of differences of the apparent magnitude of an object through blue B, visible i.e. green-yellow V, and red R filters. The observed colors of the irregular satellites vary from neutral grayish to reddish but not as red as the colors of some Kuiper belt objects. Each planet's system displays slightly different characteristics. Jupiter's irregulars are gray to slightly red, consistent with C, P, and D-type asteroids. Some groups of satellites are observed to display similar colors see later sections. Saturn's irregulars are slightly redder than those of Jupiter. The large Urania and irregular satellites Sycorax and Caliban are light red, whereas the smaller Prospero and Cetibos are gray, as are the Neptunian satellites Nereid and Halimede. 
Spectra With the current resolution, the visible and near-infrared spectra of most satellites appear featureless. So far, water ice has been inferred on Phoebe and Nereid and features attributed to aqueous alteration were found on Himalaya. Topic rotation Regular satellites are usually tidally locked that is, their orbit is synchronous with their rotation so that they only show one face toward their parent planet. In contrast, tidal forces on the irregular satellites are negligible given their distance from the planet, and rotation periods in the range of only 10 hours have been measured for the biggest moons Himalaya, Phoebe and Nereid to compare with their orbital periods of hundreds of days. Such rotation rates are in the same range that is typical for asteroids. Topic families with a common origin Some irregular satellites appear to orbit in groups, in which several satellites share similar orbits. The leading theory is that these objects constitute collisional families, parts of a larger body that broke up. Topic dynamic groupings Simple collision models can be used to estimate the possible dispersion of the orbital parameters given a velocity impulse delta v. Applying these models to the known orbital parameters makes it possible to estimate the delta v necessary to create the observed dispersion. A delta v of tens of meters per seconds, 5 to 50 meters per second, could result from a breakup. Dynamical groupings of irregular satellites can be identified using these criteria and the likelihood of the common origin from a breakup evaluated. When the dispersion of the orbits is too wide, i.e., it would require delta v in the order of hundreds of meter per second, either more than one collision must be assumed, i.e., the cluster should be further subdivided into groups or significant post-collision changes, for example, resulting from resonances, must be postulated. Topic color groupings When the colors and spectra of the satellites are known, the homogeneity of these data for all the members of a given grouping is a substantial argument for a common origin. However, lack of precision in the available data often makes it difficult to draw statistically significant conclusions. In addition, the observed colors are not necessarily representative of the bulk composition of the satellite. Topic observed groupings Topic Irregular satellites of Jupiter Typically, the following groupings are listed Dynamically tight groups displaying homogeneous colors are listed in bold Prograde satellites The Himalaya group shares an average inclination of 28 degrees. They are confined dynamically Delta V approximately equals 150 meters per second. They are homogeneous at visible wavelengths having neutral colors similar to those of C-type asteroids and at near-infrared wavelengths the MISTO is not part of any known group. CARPO is not part of any known group. Valitudo is not part of any known group. Retrograde satellites The CARM group shares an average inclination of 165 degrees. It is dynamically tight 5 The Ananke group shares an average inclination of 148 degrees. It shows little dispersion of orbital parameters 15 The Pacifei group is very dispersed. Pacifei itself appears to be gray, whereas other members Calero, Megaclite, are light red. Sinop, sometimes included into the Pacifei group, is red and given the difference in inclination, it could be captured independently. Pacifei and Sinop are also trapped in secular resonances with Jupiter. Topic irregular satellites of Saturn The following groupings are commonly listed for Saturn satellites. Prograde satellites The Gallic group shares an average inclination of 34 degrees. Their orbits are dynamically tight, delta V approximately equals 50 m per second, and they are light red in color. The coloring is homogeneous at both visible and near infrared wavelengths. The Inuit group shares an average inclination of 46 degrees. Their orbits are widely dispersed delta V approximately equals 350 meters per second but they are physically homogeneous, sharing a light red coloring. Retrograde satellites The Norse group is defined mostly for naming purposes, the orbital parameters are very widely dispersed. Subdivisions have been investigated, including the Phoebe group shares an average inclination of 174 degrees, this sub-group too is widely dispersed, and may be further divided into at least two sub-sub-groups. The Scathy group is a possible sub-group of the Norse group. Topic. Irregular satellites of Uranus and Neptune According to current knowledge, the number of irregular satellites orbiting Uranus and Neptune is smaller than that of Jupiter and Saturn. However, it is thought that this is simply a result of observational difficulties due to the greater distance of Uranus and Neptune. 
The table at right shows the minimum radius of satellites that can be detected with current technology, assuming an albedo of 0.04, thus, there are almost certainly small Uranian and Neptunian moons that cannot yet be seen. Due to the smaller numbers, statistically significant conclusions about the groupings are difficult. A single origin for the retrograde irregulars of Uranus seems unlikely given a dispersion of the orbital parameters that would require high impulse delta v approximately equals 300 km, implying a large diameter of the impactor 395 km, which is incompatible in turn with the size distribution of the fragments. Instead, the existence of two groupings has been speculated. Caliban group Sycorax group these two groups are distinct with three sigma confidence in their distance from Uranus and in their eccentricity. However, these groupings are not directly supported by the observed colors. Caliban and Sycorax appear light red, whereas the smaller moons are gray. For Neptune, a possible common origin of Samath and Nesso has been noted. Given the similar gray colors, it was also suggested that Halimede could be a fragment of Nereid. The two satellites have had a very high probability of collision over the age of the solar system. Exploration To date, the only irregular satellites to have been visited by a spacecraft are Triton and Phoebe, the largest of Neptune's and Saturn's irregulars respectively. Triton was imaged by Voyager 2 in 1989 and Phoebe by the Cassini probe in 2004. Cassini also captured a distant, low-resolution image of Jupiter's Himalaya in 2000. There are no spacecraft planned to visit any irregular satellites in the future. References External links David Jewitt's Pages Scott Shepard's Pages Discovery circumstances from JPL Mean orbital elements from JPL MPC, Natural Satellites Ephemeris Service